want to make sure I never quit YouTube, don't forget to hit that bell icon after subscribing. Because, you know, YouTube sucks. Thanks, guys. Yo, what is going on, gamers? It is your boy Chris here, aka Chris at Gamer. And today, guys, I'm finally bringing you the setup video that I've been talking about for a very long time. We finally hit 6,000 subscribers, and it's been a while. We're literally already at 6,200 subs, getting ready to hit 6.3K. So I just want to go ahead and say thank you. And without further ado, let's get started into today's setup video. So here's the door. We're just going to kind of go around bed and then roast my dad in the comment section. He's in love with the Cowboys. So we kind of got a little Cowboy theme going up right now. I really don't like the team. So, hey, he loves them. That's why you guys see all that stuff. So right here is a chest with a whole bunch of clothes. I'm going to be taking the green screen out of retirement. I thought my parents threw this one away. So I bought this one right here. It's kind of in a foldable and it's a huge pain. I took that one down just because of the way how it was. I kind of used it in Black Ops 3 and it didn't really work out. This one is good just because of where my setup is. I can kind of hang it on the wall, put some tape up there, hang it on the wall. And you guys literally wouldn't even notice that like it's there. But with this one, I constantly was having problems with having to move and things of that nature since it was a foldable one. It wasn't like this one where this one was a sheet. So bringing that one back right over here we got a whole bunch of stuff just a whole bunch of dumb stuff to be honest we got some pre-workout we have some lemonade that's nade shots g fuel then we have phase berry i'm kind of weird when it comes to g fuel man i don't know guys like i'm not sponsored by g fuel it's just some of this stuff like i'm really not a fan of phase berry and everyone says that this is fire and lemonade's all right i mean it literally tastes like lemonade but it's like one scoop of G Fuel tastes like so much powder, and I just, I really don't like that. So we have some protein. I really don't like these proteins. I don't like this one. It's supposed to be banana, but it tastes terrible, and that one's not that good either. Got some Gatorade, some other paperwork, and stuff like that. And then if we open my closet, we have a whole bunch of shoes. My shoe collection really isn't that good. You know, I got a couple J's and stuff like that, some Vans. Uh, the only ones that I'm really proud of, you know, we got the Kobe's here. We have the Futures there, Roshis, Mellows. So I got some that I'm really messing with. And then if we look up, we have some Creatine, more shoes, uh, CPU cooler, because I'm using the Evo, I believe, in my PC now. It's a really good CPU cooler, some paperwork and stuff like that. And then like right there, we have eight gigabytes of RAM and then all the boxes because I upgraded to two sticks of eight to give me 16 gigabytes. Those were two sticks. A four, so I needed to get some better RAM. This is the PC that you guys obviously want. Just please don't look at all these cables, guys. I'm really trying to figure out how to fix all of this because I know it looks bad, but like I have absolutely no idea what to do. This is the capture card that I use, the Elgato HD60. I've literally only used Elgato capture cards. I went from the first Elgato that could only record in 30 FPS to this one that now records in the 60 i'm thinking about getting the one that actually goes into my computer and using this one for a different purpose you can like record people's voices and stuff like that so trying to figure that out but what you guys want to know about this thing is that i'm using a 6700k i7 and i'm also using a gtx 1060 6 gigabyte graphics card honestly the graphics card is not that good i need to upgrade here soon um, but yeah, here goes the front end of the setup. It's literally very simple. My room really isn't that big, especially the fact that I have this bed that takes up all the space. I have this chest with a whole bunch of clothes and boom, this desk. So I really don't have that much space. And then if you guys are wondering why it looks so empty up there, there used to be um, my graduation pictures up there, but we took it down because I'm going to get a 4K TV, put it right there, this Black Friday. So this setup is going to change. I'm also going to get a third monitor right there, a brand new chair, and I might upgrade the Astro. So you guys might see a different setup video with a lot of new stuff. So hopefully that actually happens. Now into the setup, as you guys can see, we have a really bad Samsung monitor. It's like, it's weird. It's a hybrid. It's a monitor and a television. I used to play on this and I'm pretty sure this thing is like five milliseconds, something that you do not want to play COD competitive on. And I'm so glad that I got this one. I got this one, I believe last Thanksgiving. Yeah, I got this one last Black Friday and I love it. I love it. It's an Asus one millisecond. 144 hertz monitor. I'm pretty sure I got it for like 200 or something like that and they're usually like 250 So I was happy when I got this monitor really good monitor It doesn't really matter if you get a BenQ 
or an Asus, as long as it's a one millisecond, it's really good. And the 144 hertz really helps when I'm playing like PC games like Battle Royale games and stuff like that. But if you don't know, console caps at 60 hertz. So if you're trying to get a monitor, you could get a monitor cheaper if you're gonna buy a 60 hertz monitor. If you know you're using that monitor for console games and stuff like that. So like I said before, I am gonna get a third monitor. Put it right here. These two are gonna be for my PC, and then that third one's gonna be for console. So right here we have the mic. I'm using the Blue Yeti with the blue pop filter, and then I'm pretty sure that is the blue uh, shock mount. And then I'm using the Rode arm. I'm gonna try to find this. I got this a very long time ago. I'm pretty sure I got this back in like Black Ops 2 when I first started making videos and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to find this put that down below in the description i've only used blue microphones to be completely honest um i started off with the blue snowball then my blue snowball broke and then my dad got me the blue yeti at like a guitar store so i've literally been using the blue microphones for a very long time and a lot of people on youtube mess with this mic i personally think this mic is amazing um there's a lot of other mics on the market that i kind of want like the audio technica the only problem is is you can't mute it there's actually a mute button here so like if my mom comes in and she starts roasting me i can hear up and mute the mic before anyone hears with the audio technica you kind of need to make a shortcut on your um keyboard in order for them not to like hear you know to mute yourself so that's only the reason why you don't upgrade and you guys can see I have my BBI cable right there for when I want to go like dual monitoring, you know, on PC. Um, great anime, a lot of you guys roast to me if you don't watch anime, what, what are you doing? So here we got some uh, uh, other stuff that doesn't really matter, my name tag. And then right here is my old CPU, the i5, I'm not sure which one this is though. I think it's like, I just know it's an i5, it's not that good. I probably should sell it, but I doubt anyone wants it, so I don't know. I don't sell it. I just keep it there just in case. I do plan on building a second computer. All right, so this is my old scuff. I don't use it. It literally has an Xbox One scuff on it, like paddle on the back. It's broken, so I need to get that one fixed. This is the one that I use right now. It's the scuff infinity with uh, dome sticks on the left, normal sticks on the right. Uh, nothing really crazy about it. just the fact that you could change the sticks is pretty cool. I'm thinking about getting the scuff impact just because it looks like the 360 scuff. Then we have the Xbox One scuff. I'm pretty sure one of the paddles, yeah, this paddle doesn't click. If you guys can hear that, it literally does not click. This one does. This one does not. It's jammed. So I kind of need to get that one fixed. Um, and then right here, I'm pretty sure that one works and then that one works. So that's the Xbox One scuff that does work. So that is basically it when it comes to the setup and then that's the cable I use to charge my PS4 controller. And if we go in here, we just have a whole bunch of stuff. This this is brackets for my um, computer. I'm pretty sure this is brackets that I need for the hard drive and stuff like that. And then just a whole bunch of no. other stuff that I don't need. And then these are the zip ties that I was going to use to fix my cable management, but I'm super lazy and don't feel like doing that. So. That is basically it for the setup, guys. So here's the thing. I've seen people on YouTube have an adapter where like they have their DVI cable and a whole bunch of HDMI cables into an adapter and it allows them to switch ports and basically be able to use multiple monitors. I can't find that adapter anywhere on the internet. So if someone knows it, put it down in the comment section and I'll love you a long time. So that's basically it for the setup. Not that you know complicated i have a regular you know astro this is the tr version the tournament ready and then that's the tournament ready headset so very basic and then if you guys are wondering on the back my keyboard has a usb so i literally have my phone always charging all the time so that's basically it when it comes to the setup it's going to be changing like i said we're going to put a green screen there 4k tv right there third monitor and i'm thinking about upgrading some other stuff like get a new scuff maybe change the headset out and stuff like that. But I'm keeping the mic, the mic is doing well until that thing literally breaks, I'm not changing. And I don't wanna change to one that's not USB. I don't wanna to have to put an amp there. That makes so many other things hard. And I am thinking about changing the camera quality soon, just because that camera quality, it does the work, but right now I think I need something better. So that's basically it when it comes to the setup. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Thank you again for all the support. You guys know what I look like, so I'm not gonna show you guys what I look like. I mean, every video I either have my cam or something like that. So you guys know what I look like. So thank you for the support on the videos. Hope you guys did enjoy today's setup video and I can't wait to do another one of these. So leave a like if you guys did enjoy and subscribe if you're brand new and I shall see you next time. Peace out.